Have you ever run into this problem? Almost all our space is used up. Apps use 6.37 gigs. Images almost nothing. System uses another uh, roughly 6 gigs. And you are out of space. You just can't install more apps. 15.35 out of 16 gigs are fully used up. And we're back here. And we're not going to tell you that you just install a micro SD card in your phone or tablet and solve the problem. You don't want to use these. These are just not good enough. You need something that's lasting. That's something that's going to give you more space and not create a problem when you do a lot of writes. So what do you use? Well, here's one option. The Santis Max Endurance card. This is not your typical micro SD card. This one supports 15,000 hours of continuous video recording. But we're going to use it as an internal storage expansion. So this card is a little bit more pricey than the Samsung one and a lot of the other generic micro SD cards that you can find. But this thing gives you peace of mind that you're using the best that you can find. And this one even has a two-year software download coupon to help you rescue your data. This probably won't really help because the data you'll be storing will not be in the FAT file format. However, you're going to be using the best three-year warrantied micro SD card that you can buy that will safeguard your data. And it's shockproof, temperature proof, waterproof, x-ray proof. And if you've used micro SD cards, the biggest problem is over time the micro SD card with a lot of writes will actually fail. This happens in the generic micro SD cards. I we were surprised to see it happen on our Samsung. So we're actually going to be using the best that we can find. A SanDisk 32 gigabyte max endurance card. And it's supposed to be good enough that you can use it in your video cameras to do continuous recording. And we're going to be using it in this case on our Android phone. Keep in mind where you insert the micro SD card into your phone or tablet differs depending on your model so please look at the instructions that came with your device to find the slot. We have the device fully powered up and when we first look at it after inserting the card it's going to show internal storage is still the same and that Santa's card is labeled for portable storage. That's not what we want. We want it to work as internal storage. So if, if by tapping on it there's an option to format as internal storage. This is what we're going to choose. Format as internal storage and it's going to ask you to confirm. It's going to wipe everything off of the micro SD card and you just wait for it to complete. This technique works on Android devices that are Android 6 which is Marshmallow or higher. It takes about a minute or two for this whole formatting process to work but after this is done you will see that you have more internal storage because some of it can actually go on this micro SD card. Now it's done. Move data to new storage is the prompt that you get. And you can do it now or you can do it later. We're just going to do it later just so that we can show you what the change is. So now it says Sandus SD card is ready. Hit done. And now you can see that under internal storage it says you have 18.19 gigs used out of 48 gigs total. So now your internal storage is now a combination of internal shared storage and Sandus SD card for a total of 48 gigabytes. We still recommend that you back up your data in case the micro SD card ever fails. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If so, please tap the thumbs up. We'll be having more great videos to come. Please subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.